Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths to Scratch. In this video, we're kicking off a brand new game called Whack-A-Mole. You're probably all familiar with that arcade game where a mole pops up out of the ground and you go whack it on the head. Well, I've created a Scratch game that does just that, where you enter in a number and if that number relates to a mathematical rule associated with that mole, up it comes for you to whack. Once you work your way through the videos, I'll show you how to remix the project and create your own mathematical rule. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we are in the Wacker Rule Scratch project page. I'm just gonna go ahead and press the green flag and step our way through the tutorial. So we're gonna use the left and right arrows to navigate the tutorial. Press the box to skip the tutorial. Each mole, and there are four of them, is hiding a mathematical rule. A rule is something like an even number. It could be like an odd number as well, it could be a number greater than 10. You can click this uh, little chicken here or press a key to enter a number. If the number matches the rule, then the mole simply pops up. You can, of course, whack the mole when it pops up. Whack. If you succeed, you gain a life to guess a rule. If you want to guess a rule, then you press one of these signs. All the signs uh, have red indicators, which means we haven't guessed the rule. So read through all the rules and look at the number to the left of it. If you think that's the rule, enter the number in this field here. The rule will show in the guess rules if you are correct, and our sign would change to green, but it won't in this tutorial. The game is over if you run out of lives, or if you've guessed all four rules. We're going to press the box to now select a level. So we've got different levels that we can choose here, right from level 2 mathematics all the way up to level 7. So go ahead and choose the one that suits you. We're just going to go our entry level, level 2. Press the space bar. So you can click this chicken or just simply press a key to enter a number. So I'm just going to press a key and type in the number 2. Cool, I got two moles that popped up there. Uh, this 3 mole and this 2 mole. So that was when I entered the number 2. I'm now going to enter the number 4. Alright, I get the same two moles in there. Now, if I'm thinking about the numbers 2 and 4, they're both even numbers. So I'm going to press the number 6 as well just to see... How are we going here? So the same two moles pop up. All right, so knowing that it's an even number is great, but they can't both be even numbers, I'm sure. So I'm going to go in and click, click one of the signs now, and I'm going to check out the rules that we've got on here. A four-digit number, a three-digit number, less than 20, an odd number, an even number. Well, there's definitely two rules there that would apply to our mole. It's probably either an even number or something less than 20. So I don't actually know which one it will be because um, I haven't put in a number that's greater than 20. So I'm just going to take a stab in the dark here. I'm going to press number 5 and that will mean the even number rule. Alright, I actually just randomly got that one right. You can see my sign has now switched to green. So if I enter a number uh, that is 20 or greater now, I wouldn't expect this mole to pop up. So I'm going to enter in the number 21 and there we go. It's nice and hidden away. If I press the number 19... Up it goes again and I can whack it and I get a life. So I reckon this number 2 mole is a number that has 20. So enter in number 3. Boom. Cool. Uh, now when I typed in 21, I'm pretty sure I saw this number 1 mole pop up. Bloop. Okay. So if I look through the rest of the rules, I've got an odd number, a 3 digit number and a 4 digit number. So... It obviously wasn't a three digit or four digit number, it has to be an odd number. So I'm gonna type in the number four, and there we go, we're in. Okay, the last rule here, uh, we don't know what it will be, so we'll get back out of there. You can see I just lost a life, but let's we'll type in a three digit number. So two, three, four. All right, cool, you can see our even number mole popped back up, and our four mole popped out, our blue one. So that was definitely a three digit number, number two. Boom, and there we have it. We have guessed all of our mathematical rules and we have got all of our signs turned to green and we have won the game. So in future videos I'm going to show you how to make some of your own custom rules and I encourage you to jump through the levels and um, try and guess some of the more trickier rules that are out there. That's it for this video. If you liked it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check the description below for a link to the project so you can play it yourself. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to remix the project and create your own mathematical rule that you can inject into the game itself so you can play it with your friends and family. Uh, if you want to stay tuned to when I release more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you are alerted to it. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. Take it easy.